you, the subject I want to talk about today is time, and uh, specifically about how we keep track of time. Now that we communicate with people all over the world on the internet, trying to tell each other what times to meet up or what times to Skype or meet at a chat room or something like that, is a little bit confusing at times, and especially when you switch to daylight savings time. And maybe in the U.S. we switch to daylight savings time at a certain time, and then uh, in the U.K. they switch a few weeks later. It's just totally confusing. So what I propose is everybody in the world just go to one set time. We can have it be UTC time, which is, used to be known as, I think it's still known as Coordinated Universal Time. They uh, keep changing the names around. But yeah, the time in uh, Greenwich, England, that's fine because it's only an artificial construct that we have in our minds that we wake up at a certain time and then maybe have breakfast at 8 o'clock and eat lunch at 12 o'clock noon and then maybe supper at 5 or 6 o'clock p.m. If you uh, get used to it, there's no reason why it wouldn't be a common thing for you to have lunch at 3 a.m. in the morning. if. Uh, If that's the same time as what the old system used to be and I would say maybe use both times get everybody used to the universal time but use both times for about five years or so until everybody gets used to it so you would uh, you could call it universal or internet time even so that everybody would know the right time like in other words if I said let's uh, do a chat on Skype and my friend, I had one friend in Australia, another friend in England, maybe another friend in Norway, I'd say let's meet in the chat room at 1 p.m. universal time. And that means it would be the exact same 1 p.m. to all of us. It would be 1 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Or like I said, any standard you want to call, but let's just use that as an example. And then there would be no confusion with, okay, how many hours do I have to deduct? Is it like a if I have a friend from England, is it five hours? Is it six hours because they've gone on daylight savings time? What actually is it? And there's no having to discuss this back and forth. And you could even have the day change at a certain time too. You could have the day change to the next day at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock. It doesn't have to be that the day is set that way. If you look throughout history, especially even uh, growing up in the United States. We always said the start of our day was when the sun rose, when you wake up in the morning. That's the, that's the new day, you know. So psychologically in your mind, the new day doesn't start because it just went a second past midnight. I mean, what the heck? A lot of us are sleeping at that time, so we never even see the new day come. And then if you're talking about um, for religious purposes, like uh, Orthodox Jewish people and... Uh, Catholics and Orthodox Christians, we uh, run our church calendar by the Jewish way, where as soon as the sun has finished setting, that's the end of that day. It's the beginning of the next day, right after sunset. So all these things are just flexible constructs in our mind, and we could adjust to pretty much anything. I would not have a problem at all. Well, I could say I wouldn't have a problem at all, but after I would get used to it. I would say we're flexible, and after a few years, we would just finally get used to it. And after about five years, we would just drop using local time. And everything would just be on universal time. And I would just get used to the fact that maybe I would be eating lunch at 3 o'clock in the morning and then uh, going to bed at a way different time than the clock normally says. I. Especially if you talk about kids that are born now that would grow up with dealing with universal or internet time. To them it would be no big deal. It was just something they always lived with. And uh, yeah, since kids nowadays, as soon as they start learning to uh, hold a mouse in their hand, they're already on the internet and doing uh, Facebook and uh, what's the other one they do? Gaia. I remember that was really popular when my grandkids were younger. That way, no matter where their friends are in the world, everybody's on the exact same time. So anyway, 
you guys have any comments about it as usual leave the comments below I mean there may be some major problems that uh, we couldn't adjust to that I didn't think about but I don't really off the top of my head right now I can't come up with anything other than it just takes some time for people to adjust and get used to it then I think we would be fine and it would make everything run more efficient less mistakes less people missing business meetings or Skype calls stuff like that Anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later.